welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be makeup tutorial starting off I'm taking my NYX angel veil and I'm priming my face with this this has been my go-to primer now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I do use the color sand and it's actually like the perfect match for me right now so I'm just going to take that with a beauty blender and blend everything I take this as well down to my neck just a tad bit just so you don't see that line, you know, at your jawline and then your neck is different. So make sure to always blend it down. Now I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to take just one pump. And I'm going to apply that to both my under eyes. I believe I am the color NW25 and I do like to take that with my beauty blender as well and just blend everything to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and then whatever is left I do like to take that to my chin to the middle of my forehead and then a little bit to the center of my nose and up to my eyelids to use it as a primer. Now I'm going to take the NYC Smooth Skin uh, what is this called? It's the translucent powder. I just started using this. This was the first time trying it Because I've heard a lot of people saying that this is a dupe for the Laura Mercier Translucent powder so far so good. I really like it Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and I'm going to take zone which is the perfect shade for your crease. I love this color. The pigmentation is amazing. This was my first time trying it as well and I was just blown away from the pigmentation and the color payoff. Now I'm going to go into my second color and I'm going to take this one right here which is, what is this called? It's called Punk and it is so pretty, like that is so pigmented. You can see right here that I was like, whoa, that's a lot. So definitely a little bit goes a long, long way. You don't need too much. I like to apply that to the outer corner first and then I just go in and gradually bring it in just because I don't want to concentrate the color too much into the beginning of the eyelid I want this to be mostly concentrated towards the end and then I do go back as always and start blending everything out to make sure that there are no harsh lines Now I'm going to take this black eyeshadow and it is called Blackout. It is super dark. Again, a little bit of this does go a long way because it is super pigmented. And I do concentrate that just on the outer corner because I really wanted to get a nice smoky effect since I don't use a lot of black on my eyes. So I went ahead and did that and then went back and started blending everything. Now I'm going to take this third color right here on the palettes and that is called Skimp and I'm going to use this as a brow bone highlight. This is when I realized that I did not carve out my brows and it was driving me crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend that. Now I'm going to take the e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand. I just feel like it's the easiest way and I apply that to my lid, just a little bit to the center of the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and take two eyeshadows. I'm going to take Steady and Pop. I'm going to mix them and apply them to the lid. The reason why I use that glitter primer is because I really want them to stick on my lid. I don't want them to have any fallout or anything like that. I love, love, love the e.l.f. glitter primer. I think it's amazing and it's only a dollar. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to dust off the NYC translucent powder and I just like to take a big brush just to kind of get 
everything out of the way. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to apply my bronzer. I did do my eyeliner out of camera, but I'm going to take the Too Faced, um, I think this is the deep or the dark um, bronzer. And it is a little too like orangey for my skin tone, but I have it so I might as well use it. And I do take this e.l.f. contouring brush and I just contour my whole face with it. As you can see, it is a tad bit too orange, but it's okay because I will be applying blush on top of that, so it won't be too obvious. Now I'm going to use the Bahama Mama bronzer as always and my e.l.f. contouring brush. This is just like my holy grail stuff. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to carve out my cheekbones and then it's always blending that out just so I don't have just a straight line going, you know, from my ear down to my mouth. Now I'm going to take this City Color Cosmetics blush and this is in the color... I believe a Sunset Safari, I will have it down below if it's not the right one, but I love this blush, I think it just goes with everything. Now for the under eyes, I'm going to use a black gel eyeliner, just use whatever you have. This is by the brands Micah Beauty, I got this on one of my um, BoxyCharm boxes, and I'm going to be outlining the outer, like the uh, where, where your lashes are. So I'm just going to be doing that and then in the inner corner I'm going to be making like a little wing. It's kind of hard to explain but I'm sure you guys have seen this technique before. I really like it and I think it's pretty cool. And then I go back and I just make sure that I fill in my waterline. And then I do go back to that eyeshadow blackout and I apply it to the waterline just to make sure that that eyeliner doesn't smudge. Now for my highlight, I am taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer and I'm applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. I also take that to my nose, to my chin, and then to the sides of like my forehead. Now for the lips, I didn't know what I was going to go with and I just kind of went with this and I liked it. This is one of the new Beach Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I believe this is in the color Sierra. It is currently sold out, but I think they will be back in stock soon. So if you haven't gotten a chance to play with them, I highly suggest them. I really like them so far. So after that, you are all done with this look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned so you can know my review on this palette. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So before the video ends, I really just wanted to give you guys my overall opinion on the new Urban Decay um, collaboration with Gwen Stefani. First of all, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. If you are a sucker for packaging, I think you're really going to like it. It's really sturdy and it's really thick. It is so pretty. I don't own very many Urban Decay palettes. I think actually it's like my second one. With that said though, this was the first time that I did use this palette on my eyes and I was blown away by the pigmentation. All of these are absolutely stunning, especially Punk, which is that dark, it's like a chocolate berry color. It is so pretty. I love it so much and it is so pigmented. They're so creamy. They're so buttery. They're so easy to blend as you saw. So I absolutely love it. If you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette, definitely let me know. I want to try this blue one because it is so pretty. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll